Good morning, everyone. I always forget to introduce myself. I just assume everybody knows me, and that's kind of like rude, but uh, my name is Jennifer Harvey, and I am the founder and CEO of ChicSparrow.com. And over there, we make leather goods. And I actually am going to start this out by saying, because recently in the comments, I've had a few people uh, say a few things and their concerns about um, where leather is sourced from. So I wanted to just really briefly, before I get into the meat of this, I just really briefly want to tell you where I get my leather from and how important it is for me that uh, leather comes from a reputable source. And I also want to reassure you that no animal died just so you could have a leather notebook. So the all the leather that I use comes from the food industry. It is a byproduct. It would be thrown in the landfill if it was not used to be turned into leather. And so rest assured, nothing suffered just so you could have a luxury good. Um, someone, you know, people eat meat and this is a byproduct of the meat industry. So I just wanted, I know it's like starting out like on a harsh note, but I really want you to understand that, you know, to have these leather goods is, it doesn't mean something suffered so that you could have something nice. And that that's not how it works here. I only use uh, leather from the food industry. I do not use uh, leather that is exotic or that is bred for its skin itself. I don't do any of that. So hopefully that will help you understand where I'm coming from and where I get my leather. And if you have any questions about it, uh, please feel free to respectfully ask those questions down below and I will be happy to answer them for you. But really the answer is just what I said. There's really not much to add to it. It is from the food industry. It would end up in the landfill, uh, leather tanneries, take the, the hides and turn them into leather, and then we use it. So the whole animal is being used up, nothing's being wasted. And to me, having it being wasted in a landfill would be a travesty. And at least this way, the animal gets to have a second life and it's going to last a very long time. Uh, veg tan leather, which is my favorite leather, is a lot easier on the environment. And then chrome tan leathers, can be harder on the environment if people are not sticking to the strict protocols that need to be stuck to when they're making that leather. So I try to source all of my leather from reputable places and I work very closely with leather houses and I don't have a lot of middlemen between me and where my leather comes from. So it's very, very important to me that <clears throat> I'm doing the best that I can to be a good steward of the things that I've been put in charge of. So moving on, I would like very much to share with you today, uh, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four new colors in leathers that you're already acquainted with. And uh, one of them is going to be Waypoint. That's the one I have right in front of me and it's first. And I'll just go ahead and hold it up for you. So um, this is sent to me as an olive green color. It's supposed to be kind of olive green. And it looks more brown to me, but if you squeeze it, you can see the green pull up. Now this one I have named Roadrunner. It's part of the Waypoint collection. And can you hear it? So here you can see a little bit more green. It really shows up much better in the in the pull up. It's a very nice leather. It looks more brown to me than green, but uh, the pull up does have that green in there, and it, it it's a really nice neutral color actually. And if you like those like rich army tones, then that's definitely going to be an option for you. This will be available in all of the products that we currently offer Waypoint in. So from um, 
well, everything, bags, everything. So um, be sure to look out for that one if, if you're interested in that one. Let's go to Tea House next, okay? So the Tea House, I have two new colors in Tea House. One color is not new to you. It is formerly Buttered Rum in the Austin Collection. And uh, you might have known the Austin Collection as the Mr. Darcy Collection, but I rebranded it as the Austin Collection because I needed more room for names. <laughs> so it's now called Austin. And so this color was the Buttered Rum over there. And I'm gonna try to show you. So in the Tea House Collection, somebody online said that they would love to see this color be called Chai. And I thought, brilliant. So to whomever said that, and I didn't jot down the name, but I'm giving her credit. Thank you. It's now called Chai. So here it is. It's a very neutral color, and this is going to age spectacularly. And here it is in a, in a folio. So you can see it's very matte looking, but as soon as any friction happens to it, it'll start getting shiny and it'll also get darker. So keep that in mind. That's a characteristic of this leather and um, it's what so many people have come to really enjoy about it. And it's because it, it wears all of those markings and everything like battle scars in there and it's, it's just really beautiful. <clears throat> so that one is Chai. So, so far we've had Roadrunner. We've had in, in the Waypoint, we have Chai in the tea house the next one uh, Matthew actually named this one and when we ordered it I didn't want them to glaze it so like this is unglazed okay the chai is unglazed and that's why it's matte and it's not very shiny but it has a very high oil and wax content in it and that's why any friction brings up the shine so um when I ordered this next one, they sent it to me glazed and it's so beautiful. I didn't send it back and I'm a sucker for brown leather anyway, so I couldn't help myself. And Matthew, our customer care rep, he named this color and I think it's appropriate and he named it Americano. And you can see it's a very rich, dark brown. And it's just as thin. It's uh, it's just as thin as the other uh, tea house leathers, but this one's already shiny, so you can see the shine and the gloss. So, and it's a rich, really deep brown. I have a Claire here. I'm gonna just hold the Claire up next to it. You can see that they're very similar in color. I think the Claire has more red undertones to it than the Americano. Definitely red ha has more red undertones to it. The Americano is more neutral, uh, more of a neutral brown. Uh, it's still a warm brown though. It do doesn't have that gray undertone, but it's not, um, it's not red like the Claire is. The Claire has definitely has more red. All right, so that's the Americano. <clears throat> the next one is from our Austin collection, formerly known as Mr. Darcy, and it's a brand new color. I, it, I just had them make this for me. So this is a, a brand new color to us. Uh, we've, we've never offered this exact color before, and hopefully all of you green lovers are gonna love this one as well. So it is, called Colonel Brandon and you can see that it's a very dark olivey color with a golden pull-up. See that pull-up right there? So it has that golden the pull-up is like a golden olive color and this is Colonel Brandon and that's the inside And yeah, and here it is in classic in case you want to see that. So you all know I'm not a green lover, but I think this is really pretty. I wouldn't own one. 
but I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for you. <laughs> so if you like this color, then this is for you. And then the last thing that I'm going to share with you is the, um, let's see, this one is called Julian Alps. This one was named by Lara. She named this one. And, uh, uh, See, Mr. Hemingway was in the Julian Alps, I believe, when he served in the military. And, no, I think it was the Red Cross. I'll have to double check and look. But he was he was over there in the Julian Alps at some point early in his life. And um, so this is what that looks like. has nice dark edges and um, with that center pane of green, that dark green. And there's the other side. So those are the four brand new colors that I have to offer you. And I hope that you like them. Let me know what you think about them down below. And uh, we won't have any new colors for a few for several months. Um, I have some stuff coming in, but I'll be sure to let you know in newsletters. So if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, go to our website and sign up for that newsletter. And then you'll know, you know, when to expect new stuff. Um, for now, this is going to be it. Um, so hopefully you like what we have to offer and, uh, let us know in the comments down below if there's uh, any questions that you have or um, if you just want to tell me what you think of the colors. I'd love to hear. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're having a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye.